So excited to be here with you all. I'm still setting up, just figuring out, make sure everything's perfect before we get started. So just relax, um, have your mat, maybe have some water. Hi, Anne. <laughs> and we'll see, I'm gonna see what it looks like. Oh, it's pretty good. Great. So I love this. I'm uh, in my, this is, this, I'm in Los Angeles. This is my apartment. So you're getting this glimpse into my world, my life, like literally. Um, pretty intimate relationship we're gonna be building. So this is gonna be fun. So we're gonna start in just a couple more minutes, um, waiting for a few more people to join and just making sure everything is, is set perfect. Making sure you can see me in the frame. Great. Yay! I'm so excited. Looking for my blanket. So I hope everyone's having a good Thursday morning. Most of Los Angeles is still asleep as we uh, tend to wake up a little later than the East Coasters. <laughs> Yay! All right, so we're just gonna get started in a couple more minutes. For those of you that I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Christy Christensen. I'm a Los Angeles-based yoga and dance and fitness and inspirational teacher. And I just love to share my love of yoga with everyone I can. So this is so exciting to be able to be here with you this morning. And welcome to my home. <laughs> um, yes, my favorite colors are gold and copper, if you can't tell by the wall and the ceiling. And you'll, you'll probably see why when you get a glimpse into my personality and what I'm gonna share with you today. So we're just gonna wait like maybe one more minute and then we'll get started. If you like to sit on a blanket or a pillow, you can go ahead and grab that. And if you have a block, you can use that as well. Um, you don't absolutely need it, but if you have one, it's just a great, great tool to have. All right, we're gonna begin. So I hope, uh, I wish there was a way I knew if you guys could uh, see me or hear me, but I'm just gonna assume there is. <laughs> so welcome. Uh, we're gonna begin in a nice, comfortable, seated posture. So you can be um, simple cross-legged um, like I am here. And I sat myself up on just a little bit of height so that Creating just a little more space in my lower back and in the top of my hips just makes it a little easier to rest into yourself. So good morning, namaste. Again, my name is Christy Christensen. It's an honor to be here with you all in your homes or wherever you might be joining in or tuning in from today. I'm in Los Angeles, California, and. Welcome to my apartment, a little glimpse into my inner world, and I'll be sharing with you from that place this morning. So go ahead and release the hands, let them touch the tops of the knees, the thighs. Push down into the two sit bones to create this lift and rise through the spine. A tone through the navel, a broadening of the collarbones, a softening of the throat as the crown of the head is reaching 
upward. So in your form, there's this sense that you're sitting with dignity. You're taking the seat of your queendom or your kingdom here and now in the temple of your body. And I invite you to close the eyes and know that everything I offer is an invitation for you to try on and see how it feels for you. But taking these first few moments just to center into yourself by taking the sight inside, move it within the boundary of your own skin, just helps, at least me, to rid myself of this distraction of the outer world and bring my attention to what is going on with me today. What am I bringing into this day forward? And what would I actually like to leave behind? What am I ready to transform, to make space for, to ignite in the fire of my own inner being? And from that fire, what is willing to be transformed? And then what is going to emerge from the ashes, from the smoke? once the fire is lit. So nothing to do but just be with you right now and bring your attention to your breath. Notice the natural flow of your breath this morning without changing anything. How are you breathing? And then from there, we'll take it a little bit more. So keep pushing down to the sit bones, keep rising tall, keeping the posture erect, but allow your belly to begin to expand, the side ribs to broaden, and breathing all the way up into your heart space, up into the collarbones. Even imagine bringing the breath up into the front and back of the throat. And hold it for a moment. Don't strain. And then open the mouth and just gently let it go. And we begin again. Inhale, push down through the sit bones. Allow the belly to expand from pubic bone to navel. From navel to the heart space. From the heart space all the way to the collarbones all the way to the front and the back of the throat. So not just breathing into the front of the body, but the back of the body as well, like the whole torso is this beautiful cylinder. Hold it for a moment and exhale out, maybe this time with a little bit of sound. Ah. One more time. Nice big breath, belly softens and expands. The rib cage comes out to the sides and broadens. And then breathing all the way up into the heart, into the collarbones, the back of the heart. Don't forget the back of the body. Feel that, feel that richness, that fullness of life in this moment. And whatever you want to leave behind in your bed, exhale it out now. Ah. And just notice the effects of just taking those three simple breaths have already impacted your day and how you feel right now. Hmm. We're going to go ahead and take our hands together into a prayer position. We're going to rub the hands together because today we're going to focus on igniting the fire within to generate some heat, right? And it takes friction to ignite a fire. We have to strike a match against a hard surface. We have to rub up against our own inertia. So as you rub the hands vigorously, maybe with a smile, the arms might be getting a little tired already. All right, you feel that warmth building. Just go for a little bit more. And then once they're nice and hot, you're going to take them right to your solar plexus, the space below the sternum above your navel. And again, close your eyes and send that warmth into the very center of your body. This is the home of the fire with inside you, known as the Manipurika Chakra, the city of jewels, the lustrous gem. 
Or the other definition I like is the sun of your own being. And just notice if you feel any pulsatory rhythms here. Just, just turn your awareness on. Maybe you can visualize a flame about the size of your thumb right here in this area of your body. This is your source of power, your source of vitality that feeds the whole of your body. As we ignite the fire within us, we have the ability to transform, to transmute any negativity, any limited belief, any stagnation, and we can purify and awaken the fire in every cell of our body. The purpose of this fire is transformation. So we're gonna generate our power this morning for just that. So asking yourself, where are you calling the fire today? How can this fire serve you in your own activation of your own soul's fire? And before we move into the physical practice, I'm just gonna invite you to make an intention, make an offering to the flame now. Perhaps it's some limited belief or some old story that you're done with or just something that you, you just don't wanna bring forth into your day today. Maybe it's some repetitive negativity. It could be anything. And you just see it. You just offer it to the fire. You don't even know how you need to let go of it. Just that will of intention is enough. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. We're going to continue to stoke this fire with our breath. As you inhale, extend the arms, and you're gonna curl your forefingers back so the thumbs point up, and hopefully you can see that. So the thumb represents the element of fire, so we're connecting the element of fire in our thumb to our solar plexus and all the way back out to the other hand. And we begin with Kapalabhati breath, so it's a short, sharp exhale through the nose and a pumping action from the lowest part of the belly. All right, it's a purification breath that looks like this. So actually allow the belly to pump back. You're snapping it back and you're awakening this energy in the belly. You're awakening the energy of that transmutation, that transformation, that fire. And we're bringing the energy upward to move through and purify the whole of the body. Try eight more. Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, bring the thumbs to touch overhead, ground through the pelvis, stretch your body long, hold the breath, holding for three, holding for two, holding for one, and then exhale, bring the palms together, draw the hands right down to the center of the heart. Take a normal breath in and a normal breath out. And we'll try it again. So this is gonna also start to heat you up and wake you up. It's a beautiful breath for activating every cell of the body. And you also will notice it's gonna purify through your na nasal passages. So you might need a tissue nearby as well, but it's really good to get that stuckness out of the body. Here we go, second round. Arms extend out, curl the four fingers back, thumbs up mudra, fire mudra. You can close the eyes or keep them steady on a point you decide. Here we go. Keep it going. We don't want to over effort here. We don't want to be straining. We don't want to add more tension behind the eyes. So there's a radiance that starts to build as the belly pumps. We're drawing the energy up to create this beautiful halo. Kapalapati means the skull shining breath, the skull shining one. You have eight more. Six, seven, eight. Inhale, reach the arms up, bring the thumbs to touch, push down through the pelvis, stretch, 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 stretch. Hold the breath. Allow that energy to build. 
holding three, holding two, holding one, and then exhale, clear into the heart space. Take a normal breath in, and a normal breath out. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to wake up. So we're gonna try one more time. Just do the best you can. Ground through the pelvis, extend the arms, curl the four fingers back, thumbs up. Feel that connection of that line of radiance, that line of fire within you. Here we go, short, sharp exhales through the nose, pumping the belly back. So there's actually this bellowing movement of the belly, all right? Exhale is active, inhale naturally happens. Turning the oven on, you're lighting that match. Stoking the flames for your whole system. Just eight to go. Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, thumbs come to touch and meet. Ground through the pelvis, tone through the belly, holding. Keep holding if you can. Don't strain soft at the eyes. Three, two, one. Exhale all the way down, hands in. And release, beautiful. So we're gonna start to move from this area of the solar plexus as you inhale. Pull the chest forward from, again, imagine moving here, and then to the right, to the back, to the left, and forward. Try it again. Right, back, but really contract, almost like you're just got punched in the solar plexus. Left and forward. One more time, slow like this, finding this range of motion and this movement from here. And then we're gonna smooth it out. We're coming forward, back, and around. Mm -hmm. And imagine the movement again, led by the solar plexus traveling around the center of the spine. Big breath in, exhale as you go back and around. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna switch directions, so we'll reverse it. We'll slow first, forward, left, back, right, and forward. Keep it going. Last one at this pace, and then we'll smooth the edges, and we'll move the body around that central channel of the spine. And you're gonna feel the connection to your solar plexus. And then these upper abdominal muscles as well. One more time. Good. Now last activating breath here. For now, you're gonna take your hands just fold them into the tips of the shoulders. Right? Keep pushing down. We want to keep that connection to our ground. Keep lifting up through the spine. And as you inhale, you're going to turn to the right. And then as you exhale, you're going to turn to the left. All right? Inhale and exhale. We're going to go a little faster. All right? You can stay just, just the same type of breath of fire. So you inhale right, exhale left. Actually, try breathing out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Your gaze can be right at the tip of the nose. Again, you're gonna feel this turning and burning and a little churning right at the navel center. Waking up the body this morning. You have three, two, one, and back to center. Just pause. You might feel the energy go woo all the way up. Again, we're waking up every cell. We're detoxifying every cell of the body so that we can be our most radiant self this morning. Now we're gonna reverse it. So hands back to the shoulders. And inhale to the left, exhale right. So we're just reversing the breath. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And then you're gonna find the tempo in which you can move at. And having the hands like this helps keep the front and back of the heart open 
and it allows that movement to come all the way down into the solar plexus. Burning through the inertia now. You have three, two, one. And slow it down and release. Just let the hands connect to the knees. Close the eyes for a moment. Maybe even take the hands back to the solar plexus. And just notice any subtle shift. Any subtle shift. Maybe the fire's burning a little bit brighter. Maybe there's a little bit more sensation here. Just checking in. Mm. Maybe you make another offering to that fire again. All right, let's continue on. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees into a table position. So you wanna spread the fingers wide, stack the shoulders right over the wrists and the knees underneath the hips, all right? If you have a block, you can take the block right between the inner thighs, just to hug into the midline power. If you don't have a block, just imagine hugging your outer hips in and drawing your inner thighs back and apart. Push into both hands, tone through the belly, and then reach your right arm forward. The palm spins in, the thumb skyward. Push into the left hand more. Tone through the navel more. The more you push down, pull into the belly more. So you can make this real, really active. And then squeeze the block. So feeling how everything hugs in to support the midline of your body. And then release the right hand down. Push down and extend the left arm forward. Again, palm spins in, thumb skyward. Shoulder on the back. Hug the outer hips in. Squeeze the block if you have one. Hold for another breath, and then lower the hands down. Good. Same thing, push down, but this time toes tuck under, squeezing the block. See if from that squeeze of the block or the hips hugging in, you can hover the knees off the ground, just like two inches. Hover the knees, push into the hands. As you push into the hands, pull the belly in. Holding for three, holding for two, holding for one, and then tap the knees down just like a feather. Remove the block and extend your right leg back, toes tuck under. Push into the hands and float your right leg up. Flex the foot, again, hug the hips in. Imagine that block is there. Lengthen through the spot, sides of the body and lengthen through the throat. Good, stay there. Now, reach your left arm back forward just like you had. Hug into the center, scissor through the body, holding for three, holding for two, holding for one. And now exhale, bring the knee into the chest, elbow can tap the knee, and then extend and reach forward. Keep it going. Now if that's too much, you can always return the left hand down to the ground and do the movement the same way. Exhale, hugging in, round the spine, coil through the solar plexus, and then expand and radiate in all directions. Exhale, coil in, and then inhale, lengthen and expand. Let's try two more. Exhale, last one, and expand and hold. Beautiful. Now lower the hand down. With your right leg, you're gonna spin the leg open. So you're gonna externally rotate and you're gonna take your right foot down to the ground like you're setting up for a warrior pose. You can create a little bit of a kickstand with the left foot. Left hand stays under the shoulder so you'll be able to see the shoulder blade is on my back and then I'm pushing and extending through the pinky toe of my back foot. My right hand wraps under the left rib cage and I turn open to the ceiling as I reach up. Option one, you stay right here. Option two, you float the right leg off the ground. Now your tailbone moves into the body. You reach and extend to the back heel. Then your pubic bone moves up to the navel to the solar plexus up all the way 
to wrap your ribs in, and then I'm expanding my arms open. Maybe even I look up. Good, hold for two more breaths. Mm, last breath. Hand comes to my heart, and then I return the hand to the ground, square the hip. Lightly tap, right knee down beside the left. Inhale, open the chest, calf pose. Exhale, round, pull the navel in. Inhale, open. And then exhale, pull the belly in as you push the ground away. One more time. Maybe exhale through the mouth or the tongue. And come back to center. All right, second side. So outer hips are hugging in. Push into, uh, I'm sorry, extend your left leg back. Tip of the toes down, hug the hips in, and then float the leg up. Stay there. Find this point here. And then, option to reach the right arm forward. Push down into everything that's in contact with the ground. And as you exhale, you're going to bend your knee, bend the arm, coil in. And then expanding out. Keep it going. Exhale. Pull into the center. Inhale. Radiate in all directions. Exhale. And if it's too much for the balance today, no problem. Just return the right hand down and continue the movement with the leg. Okay? So you do the best you can. We're going to try one more time. And expand and pause. Hold it here. Hug to the center. We're going to hold for three. Hold for two. Can you stretch longer from your heel? Outer hips and belly and ribs and reach to the crown of the head, even your middle finger. And then return the hand down. All right, we're going to open the hip up. And make a little kickstand with the right foot. And then shift the weight to spin the back foot down. Adjust the right hand so the shoulder is on the back, and I'm going to wrap my arm in front and turn from the obliques and reach up. Right, so option one, you can stay right here. Option two, you can float the leg up. Instead of taking it to a back bend, though, once you take the tailbone, lengthen it, reach and extend through the back heel. You're lifting from the inner thigh, then moving from pubic bone to navel, navel to heart, and then broaden through the collarbones to open the chest. Maybe look up. Hold for three, for two, for one. Hand comes to the heart. Hand comes back to the ground. Square the hip. Take the knees down side by side. All right. Imagine the block between the legs. Toes tuck under. Hover the knees just two inches off the ground. Push into the hands more. Bring the energy up into the belly. Really pull up through the solar plexus. Holding three. Two, one, and take your hips up and back and come into a bent knee downward dog. Spread the fingers. Push down through each of the base knuckles. Lengthen through the spine. Keep that tone to the belly. Mm, creating more space here in the spine. And then slowly opening up the backs of the legs by pressing the top of the thigh bones back into the hamstrings and letting your heels descend down in the direction of the ground. Spread the toes. Breathe into the whole of your body. Inhale, shift forward into plank pose, the top of a push up. Tap the knees down like a feather. So that same coiling action you used to bring the knees up, you used to come down. We're gonna lower our chest between the arms. Inhale, we rise into cobra pose. So we're drawing the head of the arm bone back, stretching and reaching through the toes. And then exhale, shape shift it down. Push back to the hands and knees. Toes tuck under, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward into plank. Exhale, lower the knees down, tap them like a feather. Lower your chest all the way to the ground. Inhale, rise into cobra. 
Exhale, shape shift it down. Push back to hands and knees. Toes tuck. Downward ducks. Just getting some basic warm ups in the body. One more time. Inhale, roll forward into plank. Exhale, tap the knees down. Lower the chest down. And rising up into cobra. Mm. Opening the whole front gate of the body. Exhale down. Push back to hands and knees. Toes tuck. Downward facing dog you go. Mm. Let's stay here for three nice big breaths. You can take a peek up at your hands and make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. Wrist creases parallel to the front of the mat and the fingers evenly spread across. The upper arms wrap. The shoulders, blades come into the back. The spine is long, hinging from the hips. And awakening all the way through the backs of the legs, the calves. And you're going to notice those places you might be a little tight or sore this morning. Mm. And then walk your hands all the way back to the feet. So the feet are about hip width apart. Mm -hmm. You can catch opposite hand to opposite elbow, release the neck, the jaw, and even make some figure eight shapes here. Mm -hmm. Making this infinity sign. Micro bend of the knees, still scooping through the belly. And unraveling the neck and the jaw. And then see if you can figure out how to do that the other direction. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Mm, and release. Inhale, come up halfway. Fingertips to the ground, the shins, or even your thighs. And then exhale, fold. Press into the feet. Strong legs. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, pull it into your heart. All right, so we're going to do one more movement here to really generate some, some, just this letting go, right, this activation of whatever we brought in from yesterday, okay? So you're going to inhale, reach up, and as you exhale, you come forward and go, <sighs> inhale up. So just like you're throwing down, just, ugh. That extra stuff you might be carrying around with you this morning. All right, we're gonna try it a few times. Inhale, reach up, and then exhale. And you can just exhale with a sound just to help facilitate that movement of the energy. All right, here we go. Inhale up, exhale. Mm. All right, feeling yourself get a little lighter of whatever you might be carrying around that you don't need anymore. Try three more. Two more. Last one. And inhale, reach up, ground the feet, ground the energy. All right, again, you might feel that lightness coming up, so it's so important to feel the power of your legs, the strength inside. Good, palms touch, hands come in. And we'll come to the top of the mat. And again, you might feel the heart rate coming up a little bit, just this sense of aliveness continue to grow. All right, top of the mat. Big toes touch, heels slightly apart, or feet hip width, you decide. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Take the hands down to the ground. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, come up halfway lengthen. Exhale, step back to plank pose, top of a push-up. So pausing here for a moment, right? Shoulders in the back, extend through the heels and then pull the chest through the arms, tone through the belly. So option one, you can tap the knees down like we were working already or keep the legs straight this time and lower the belly all the way down. Inhale, rising into cobra, draw the head of the arm bone back, thighs roll in, Curl up to the back of the heart. And then exhale, shape shift it down. Push back to hands and knees. Toes tuck under, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Make sure you're grounding your thumb and first finger 
and also your pinky finger. So having a real balanced, rooted foundation. Mm. Walk your feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips, ground, shins or thighs, lengthen the sides of the body. Exhale, full chest to thighs, release the head. Press into the feet, arms wide, root down, rise up. Exhale, hands pull into the heart and we begin again. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Bend the knees if you need to to open the backs of the legs. Fold over and forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank pose. You decide, knees or straight legs. Lower down, all the way to the ground. Inhale, rise into cobra. Pull the chest through the arms, thighs roll and stretch to the feet. Exhale, shape shift it down. Push back to hands and knees, toes tuck, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. This time, step the right foot all the way forward to the top of the mat, followed by the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full chest to thighs, release the head. Press into the feet, flat back, rise all the way up. Hands pull into the heart. Inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, hinge from the hips, hands touch the earth. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. This time, exhale, plant the palms, bend the knees, and see if you can lightly jump back to plank. Yeah. Then you decide, knees are straight legs, lower all the way down. Inhale, rise into cobra. And then this time, exhale, take it all the way back, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Ground through the hands. Inhale, lift your heels up high now. Look forward between the hands. Bend your knees like that first downward dog we did. We're closing the space between the rib cage and the tops of the thighs. And you're gonna inhale, start to shift forward like you're moving towards plank, but not all the way there. And then exhale, you're gonna shift it back. So it goes inhale forward, and then exhale with that. <sighs> inhale, <sighs> and we start to pump it back and forth. Right, so the gaze is still forward between your hands. As you exhale, you pull the navel back to the spine and you're, again, generating that heat, activating the fire in every cell of your body. You have three, two, one, and then, then imagine lift off. Imagine jumping up your feet, but you're not yet. And then step, foot forward, other foot forward. Inhale, take it right to your halfway lift. Exhale, fold, chest to thighs, release the head. Press into the feet, root down, rise all the way up. Gather all your energy and pull it right to the heart. Let's keep adding on just a little bit more. Inhale, reach the arms wide and up overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips, take the hands down, release the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knees, palms flat. Now you can jump back to plank, or this time jump back, land in chaturanga. Yes, roll over the toes, ready for up dog. Now push into the hands. Our body's like a suspension bridge here. The pelvis is off the ground, the knees are off the ground. The head of the arm bone draws back. And then exhale, lift up from the belly, flip over the toes, downward facing dog. Okay, so that pumping motion that we did in the last round we're gonna do again, but I'm gonna give you an option to add a little hop with it. So option one, lift the heels high, look forward, bend the knees, close the space between the thighs and the rib cage. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, and you can stay here. All right, some of you are gonna try a little hop. You're gonna bend the knees, you're just gonna hop off the feet, land right in the same place. So same thing. Jump up, come down. Jump up, come down. So we re-bend the knees just like the forward and back rock. All right? Try for three. Try for two. Try for one. 
Woohoo! And then step or jump your feet all the way up to your hands. And I hope you're smiling, right? That's one of the fun things about these activating practices that move the energy oh, in the activator dynamic power, that joy of just being alive. Oh, we remember how alive we are. All this feeling sense that comes in back into, rushes back into every cell of our body. All right, last round like this. Here we go. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, take the hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend your knees, plant the palms. Now you can jump to plank or jump it back right to chaturanga. Roll over the toes, coming into cobra or upper dog. And then exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. So take a moment, catch your breath. Check your hands, spread the fingers, claw the floor with the fingers so you really ground the base knuckles. All right, now lift your heels high. Bend the knees, close the space between the thighs and the rib cage. You can start pumping back and forth. You can stay there today. That's a great drill, it's a great work. It's gonna move lots of energy. It's gonna help you build strength and bring that power into the center and even build your confidence to do it. Next option, you can try these little hops just one inch off the ground. For those of you that want a little more, you're gonna take a little bigger hop. You're gonna curl the knees into the chest, just like when you floated the knees off the ground in our table position. So you're gonna bring the knees in, choo, and come back down. Bring the knees in, whoop. So we have to shift shoulders over the wrists, whoop. Same action as we tap the knees down. One more, ha ha ha. And then you can step or jump all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Push down into the feet. Rise all the way up. Hands pull into the heart. And maybe your heart's beating a little bit right now. Again, it's that knock on the door saying, hello, I'm alive in there. I'm waking up with the day too. All right, so all good stuff. Keep, let's keep it going, all right? Either feet together, or they can stay hip-width apart. You decide. I'm gonna come into Utkatasana chair position. Bend the knees, sit low. All right, so even here, the outer hips are hugging in. And as we have this hug to the midline, all the support starts to generate to support the front and back of the spine. Holding for two, maybe sit a little deeper. One, then exhale over the legs. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step or jump. You decide now. You get to choose. Lower chaturanga. Rise into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward between your hands. So you bring your right foot all the way to your right thumb pad. Feet are hip width apart. Inhale, rise up into crescent pose. Right? Hug the outer hips in. Reach and extend up. All right, we're gonna activate this mudra called Mushti Mudra. You're gonna take your thumbs inside the hands and then wrap the four fingers around it. And then you're gonna draw the arms back and then inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. So we're gonna use that same little exhale of the breath as you come up. All right, so I call this fists of empowerment. It's another dynamic movement to help us move the energy and to also clear our path so we can bring forth to our day and to our life what we need right now. So it's like you're pulling it down and pulling it towards you. Try three more. Exhale, one. Exhale, two. Exhale, three. Stay here. Reach the arms back up. Hips are square. Inner left thigh is drawing back. Outer left hip comes forward. Reach the arms back up if you haven't already. And then see if you can re-extend from your inner left thigh to your inner heel. Hips hug in. And then last option, maybe lift the right heel off the ground. Eyes are steady. Feel the power in the legs. Feel the support of the whole core of the body. Drop the right heel down and then spin the back foot flat. 
to bring that back leg into a warrior one. And again, inner left thigh back, outer left hip forward. Ground into both feet, curl upward, reach upward through the spine, neck long. Can you bend the front knee a little bit more? Push the pinky toe side of the back foot a little bit more. One more breath. Exhale, hands come down to frame your foot and just pause. Push into the hands, lift the right foot off the ground and just hover. Can you give the knee a little kiss? Stay with the shoulders in plank and extend the, left, the right leg back. Now left leg draws into the belly, shoulders over the wrist. There's that coil, that movement right from the solar plexus and extend the left leg back. Let's try the right leg, right knee pulls in, give it a little kiss and extend back. Left leg pulls in, push, 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 push into the hands, round through the spine, coil, coil, right into the solar plexus and extend. And just to give you a little rest, tap the knees down like a feather, chest to the ground. Rise up into your cobra position, draw the head of the arm bone back, stretch the feet, stay for a breath here. And then exhale, up and back. Left foot steps all the way up to the left thumb pad. If the foot doesn't get there, just take your hand to your ankle and actually physically move it, all right? Feet are hip width apart. That's gonna help you balance. Inhale, rise up. So right away, the hips hug in, grounding through the heel bone, big toe of the front foot, and the scissoring action to, to center. Thumbs fold into the four fingers. You make your fist and you pull back. You inhale up, exhale. <sighs> inhale, actually we'll stay with that ha sound. So ha is the generating power of the sun, like hatha yoga. Ha. So you do that aspirated ha. ha. Right, again, we're activating the sun of our own body as the sun is rising and waking ourselves up today, bringing light to our day, we're bringing light to our being. We have three, two, one more, and pause. Reach the arms back up. Hug the hips in. Draw, oops, you have to really balance that front big toe knuckle heel bone. Re-extend from your inner left thigh, so your inner right thigh to your inner heel. An option to lift the left heel up. Breathe. Keep hugging to center. Imagine that block between the legs. Mm -hmm. Lower the heel down and then spin the back foot flat. So your inner right thigh pulls back, outer right hip forward, ground down, root to rise. Breathe. Nice, deep, slow breathing. Just checking the time here. How we doing? Okay. One more breath. And then exhale, hands come down to the ground. Step. Actually, no. Push into the hands. So I'm going to cheat you on the side. Bring the left knee into the chest. Hover. Now, can you push into the hands more like you're moving towards that cat pose? Give your knee a little kiss. And then extend it all the way back to plank. Draw the chest of the arms. Right knee pulls in. Push, push the ground away. Pull that power into the belly the more you push into the hands. And extending back. One more time, left knee coils in, 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 in. Yes, I know you can feel it. And then extend it out, 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 out. Beautiful. Option one, straight to downward dog. Option two, you can move through the vinyasa of your choice. And we'll all meet in our downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and let it go. <sighs> deep breath in. Open the mouth and let it go. This time, let's lift the right leg up and back. So lifting from the inner thigh, outer hips are hugging in. Reach and extend up to the ball of the foot. Exhale, knee comes into the navel, shift shoulders over wrist. Step the foot all the way forward to that right thumb pad. Step the feet, hip width apart. Inhale, rise up, 
into your crescent pose. So we're just gonna add on to what we did the previous round. You're gonna push into the right heel. You're gonna do that mushti mudra. You're gonna draw the arms back. But this time, from the power of the front leg and the core, you're gonna draw the left knee into the chest. And then inhale, step it back. So eyes are steady on the point to help you balance, all right? Exhale, push into the heel, pull the arms back, pull the belly in. Inhale back, exhale. Inhale back, exhale. Inhale back, one more time, slow. And now that you got it, we're gonna move it a little bit faster. All right, here we go. We're gonna make the sound a little louder too. All right, it's gonna look like this. That generating force, huh? Two more, huh? Last one, hold the knee up into your chest. Hug the hips in, ground, grow taller. Step the feet down side by side. Return to your chair pose. That's it. Lift your heels up now. Can you interlace all but the first finger? Can you sit a little lower? Hug the hips in more. Can you sit a little lower? Hug the hips in more. And then sit down all the way on your heels. Hug the outer ankles, hug the outer hips, hug the outer knees. Grow taller, taller, taller through the spine. Now imagine the flame growing to encompass your whole torso, the back of the skull, the front of the skull, all the way through the arms, and feel the dance of the fire. Maybe bravely close the eyes and see how your fire dances. And if you fall, the worst thing that's gonna happen is a hand's gonna catch you on the ground. All right, so if you don't want to close them all the way, you can play with taking some long blinks. And then we'll slowly bring the hips down. And we get to sit down. Woohoo! We having fun yet? I hope so. I am. <laughs> I love these activating practices. Like, sometimes they're hard, but like, I just, it does. Like, the infusion of energy and that sense of aliveness is just irreplaceable. Okay, so if you have a block, you can take it between the legs. If you don't, don't worry about it. Sit up nice and tall. Lift up through the crown of the head. And that same rounding of the spine we do when we're moving towards our cat pose. All right, remember that movement from the solar plexus. You're drawing in like you kind of got sunker punched in the belly. Your tailbone is moving towards your knees. Your pubic bone is chasing your navel. And your navel's like trying to melt towards your heart. You're gonna feel the stretch of the back of the body, the whole posterior body, squeeze the block. Now take your hands to the outer legs. Tip the tailbone up even more. Close the space between your pubic bone and your sternum even more. Come back another vertebra. Notice what's happening to your neck. Release the neck, you can look from right to left. Right, so we're trying to bypass the neck recruiting itself to make, to make up for our abdominal muscles. We wanna Concentrate the energy into the center as much as possible. Come back, another vertebra, squeeze the block. Tip the tailbone up. Come back, another one. Hands come off this time. Bring the lower back down, middle back down, back of the head down, reach up. And then inhale, pull yourself all the way up to sitting the best you can. Let's try it again. Inhale, lift up through the crown of the head. Exhale, round the spine. Pull in through the solar plexus, pull in through the navel. Bring the hands to the outer legs, elbows lift. Free the neck, slowly release the hands. Lower back, middle back, upper back, reach up. And then inhale, pull yourself all the way back up. Good, keep it going. So we're opening up the back of the body and strengthening the front of the body to create this beautiful uh, set symmetry. Inhale up, exhale, round the spine. Tip the tailbone up. That same action of bringing the knee into the navel. Same as the little uh, jumps up in the sky as well. Hands to the outer legs. Tip the tailbone up. Release the hands. Squeeze the block. Lower back down. Middle back down. Back of the head down. And pull yourself all the way up. Now, this could be happening. If your spine's really tight, you might go from here all the way to here. And it just means these muscles that run vertically up the spine just need more of this flexion type of movement, right? So we want to stretch the muscles that run vertically to do this. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's keep it going. I'm going to keep making the spine more and more supple and building more and more strength at the same time. Inhale up. Exhale. 
round. All right, tailbone moves towards your knees, pubic bone moves towards the sternum, hands to the outer legs, come back a vertebra, tip the tailbone up, come back another vertebra, tip the tailbone up. So now we're searching for this place where that electricity starts to turn on, that fire is actually starting to smoke just a little bit. So this is not passive at all. We're holding that like most contracted place of a crunch. Squeeze the block, tip the tailbone up, and you just keep refining. If I made you stay here for the next five minutes, you would hate me. All right, that's how much work this is right now. All right, notice if your fingernails are like digging into the legs and your knuckles are turning white. Yeah, stop that. Soften through the fingers. All right, release one arm and just hold. See what happens. Pull to the midline more by squeezing the block. Tip the tailbone up more. Yes, free the neck. And then hold back on and switch hands. Squeeze to center, midline power. Draw the belly down from right hip to left hip. Tailbone towards the knees, keep refining. Hold back on. Lift the elbows, feel the stretch in the back of the body between the shoulder blades. Chin parallel to the ground. Here we go. Try both arms off. What's happening in the lower belly? Pull down from right hip to left hip. Tip the tailbone up. Hold for three. Hold for two. Little quivers. Good. Hold for one. Hold back on. Let this be your rest position. We'll do one more mini set and then we'll take a break. I promise. Lift the elbows. Tailbone towards the knees. Can you come back a little bit further? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right. One hand off. Good. Now just tap the hand down and up down and up like you're just pressing down on a lever and as you press down on the level you're pulling your navel to your spine more try two more press down and up one more and hold back on you can do this i know you can i'm doing it with you release the other hand push it down and up push two and up keep drawing the navel down three you're so getting stronger four you're gonna feel so good after this five let's do two more one last one we hold back on, hold, hold, hold. You can stay here or maybe both hands off. Maybe you turn the palms forward and you hold for three. You hold for two and on one you bend the elbows. Oh, and you come rest on the elbows. I know. We're gonna come into a cat-cow action here to feel this release. You're gonna arch your back, lift the back of the heart to the front of the chest. You can even stretch the neck if that feels okay and then reverse it. You're gonna take the back ribs down to the ground, tailbone moves up, and then you contract the belly again, like you're moving towards the flexion. Inhale, open the spine. This should feel good. And then exhale, pull it back in. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. We're gonna stay here this time. So if you notice, this is the same shape of the pose as this. We just have the support of the elbows. So if you need to take a break at all, you'll come back to this position versus just oh, collapsing down and giving up, all right? And you'll notice if you're here and you're squeezing the block and you're really lengthening the tailbone and you're pulling down from the rib cage, you're pulling the ribs in, you're drawing the navel in, you'll feel the effort as well. So you'll get that um, isometric contraction happening, which will help strengthen you and as you build the mobility in the spine as well, okay? So here we go. All you're gonna do, slide the hands up underneath the legs. <laughs> I know, squeeze the block. Tailbone moves towards the knees, All right? Think about your ribs wrapping in, wrapping in, elbows left. We're gonna try a baby, baby curl. So imagine your bottom rib here curling right over the abdominal wall. So we're gonna curl up an inch and back down. Curl up an inch and back down. Curl up an inch and back down. Just three more. Curl up an inch, back down, keep squeezing the block. Curl up an inch, last one, hold. Tailbone up, ribs in, neck long. Good, hold for three, hold for two. Hold for one, both hands off. Now both hands press down, tap. Two, exhale, three, exhale, four, exhale, five, we're just going to 10. Six, seven, you got this. Eight, nine, last one, 10, hold back on, and then pull yourself all the way up this time. You can remove the block out, hug your knees into your chest, crossing right ankle on top of left. 
Yeah. <laughs> Lift up through the crown of the head and then draw the heart forward. It should feel good. Okay. Now one more thing here. Bring your heels as close in towards your groins as you can, all right, or towards your, um, towards your bottom. And then reach the arms forward. Turn the palms to face one another, then plug the shoulders into the sockets. Now push the feet down like you're going to stand up, all right, but you're not going to quite do that. You're going to push the feet down and then take the hands beside you. Right, push into the hands and then feel that pulling in and up through the solar plexus. And you either stay here or maybe one foot lifts, maybe the other foot lifts, and then you cross the ankles one, two, three, four. Okay, and set it down, cross over the legs, downward facing dog. Ah, oh, isn't that fun? All right, we just have one more side to go. All right, we're so close. Ready for our day, armed with our power, our fire burning, getting through what we don't need anymore, and bringing this lightness of joy and activation and purpose into our life. Inhale, left leg reaches up to the sky. Exhale, knee comes into the navel, coil, coil, coil. Step all the way to the left thumb pad, feet hip width apart, and we rise up. All right, so we have to start steady first. Grounding, heel bone, big toe. Hips scissoring in. As we exhale, the arms are going to pull down. You're going to transfer the weight. Bring the right knee into the chest. And then inhale, step it back. Eyes steady. Exhale, pull in. Ha. Inhale back. Exhale. Ha. Inhale back. Keep it going. Exhale. Now that you've got the movement, we're going to do it a little bit faster. Okay, do the best you can. Here we go. Ha. Two more. Last one. Hold. Find that balance. You become the calm in the center of the storm. Push down, grow taller. Feet come side by side. Reach the arms up. Come into your chair pose. Hug in. Lift the heels. If you can, interlace all but the first finger. One of the mudras of fire. Come a little lower. Hug, hug, hug. Ankles, knees, hips, belly tones. Come a little lower. Yes, the legs might start to quiver. Come all the way down, sit on the heels, pause. All right, so everything hugs the center and your whole torso is the flame dancing. Challenge yourself by closing the eyes. See what happens to your balance. Keep dancing with it. The worst that's gonna happen is you'll fall to the side. Mm-hmm. One more breath. Hands come into the heart. Sit your butt down. And we have one more set to go, but we're almost there, okay? We have to get to the obliques a little bit more because we haven't done much here yet. This is my favorite part. All right, so you're gonna inhale up, same beginning. Exhale round, tailbone up, pubic bone towards your navel. Mm-hmm, good. Now take your hands behind the knees. We're gonna release our right hand this time. We're gonna cross across the body and come back to center. All right, keep going across the body and back to center. All right, across the body and back to center. See if you can come back a little bit further, a little bit further. Try three more. Cross and back, two and back. Last one, cross and take both hands to the outside of the legs. Can you imagine twisting a little bit deeper from your right oblique? and then feel that twisting and opening of the back body. Come back an inch further, tip the tailbone up. You can stay right here. Next option, you're gonna extend the left leg, reach up to the ball of the foot, tip the tailbone up a little bit more. Maybe one arm off, come back to that mushri mudra, make your fist, other hand off, and then we tap. Two, three, four, five, six, we're going to eight, Seven, eight, good. Hold back on, lower the foot down, and come back to center. Whoo! Tip the tailbone up. Come back a little further. All right, second side. I can't see you on this side, so I'm trusting you to do your best. Here we go. Release the left hand. We cross it over to the right and center. To the right and center. Right. Three more. Use your breath. 
and hold it over this time. So both hands. Actually, I'm going to turn this way. All right, so I can still see you. <laughs> Take your hands to the outer legs. Turning now from the left oblique. Come a little further back. Tip the tailbone up. There you go. All right, you can stay here, no problem. Or you extend the right leg out. You can stay there. Maybe release one hand. Make your mushti mudra. Other hand, these fists of empowerment. And then you tap. Two, we're going to eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can hold back on. Lower the foot down. Come back to center. Round the spine even more. Tip the tailbone up even more. Both heels off the ground now. Now can you lift the feet up and tip back? Yeah, see how my lower back just came to the ground? Imagine you're squeezing a block here now. Maybe stay here. Maybe release your arms forward. Maybe extend the legs out on the diagonal. You have a 10 second hold. You can be here. Maybe the arms come up. Maybe the legs come further down. You can do this. You can do this. You have five. You have four. Let your body quiver. Three, two, one, and oh. Release it down and rest for a moment. Oh, yes, great work. Okay, bring your feet together, interlace your fingers, press the palms up, and just stretch your body long so you're stretching your abdominal wall. Reach to the right foot, reach the left foot, and just go a little side to side. Oh, we're not quite done yet, but we're getting there. All right, draw the knees into your chest. We're gonna rock and roll up and down the spine, up and down. And you're gonna catch a little momentum and just balance right on the sit bones. Try to find that point of balance. And we're gonna cross the left foot on top this time. Gather the knees into the chest, sit up. Okay, good. Reach the arms forward, turn the palms to face one another, and then draw the shoulders on the back. And you're gonna catch this little momentum, like you're gonna put your feet down or someone's gonna help lift you up off the ground. That's the direction we're moving. But instead, you're gonna place the hands down, right? Right underneath the shoulders. But you're hinging from the hips, you're lifting up to the solar plexus. You push down to lift the butt up. That might be enough, it's not easy. Maybe one foot up, maybe the other foot up, and then you can cross, cross, cross into the smile. And release it down, cross over the legs. Find your way into downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, right leg reaches up to the sky. Exhale, knee coils and sip it all the way forward between the hands. All right. This time, come onto the left fingertips, sweep the right arm back and twist open. Push into the bottom hand, open through the heart, reach and extend through the back inner thigh. Mm -hmm. And then shift the gaze back down, outer hips hug to the center. Again, imagine that idea of the block between the legs. You're going to reach the left arm up, and we're going to reverse it back. So again, this should feel good after the work we just did. Opening up so there's a curl, a spinal extension here. And then we're going to take a twist. Elbow to the outside of the knee. My palms can come together. Push the bottom hand into the top, the top hand into the bottom. Draw the head of the right shoulder back. Push the elbow into the thigh, thigh into the elbow, and hug the hips in. Good, breathe. Maybe we bring the fingertips together. Just all ten fingertips touching. One more big breath. And then exhale, hands come down. Tap the back knee down and shift your hips back. Slide the right heel slightly forward, okay? So we're gonna come into a wide-legged Ardha Hanumanasana. I'm gonna make a kickstand with the back foot, so your left foot's gonna pivot to the right, and I'm gonna come to the inside of my right leg, all right, just to get the other dimensions of the hamstring muscle here. Come up onto your fingertips, so your hands are most likely gonna come off the block, the inner thighs come back and apart, and you fall down. You're pushing your right heel into the ground, and you're flexing the toes. And breathe. So it just creates a little bit more space to free the lower back. 
And then we'll come more to the traditional form. Coming back, hands can frame the foot and folding. Instead of thinking about just rounding down, hinging right from the hip creases to lengthen the spine to bring the chest down. And then lift the chest, re-bend the knee. Take it back, downward facing dog. Right, holding downward dog or option to move through a vinyasa. Knees can tap or straight legs, lower down. Rising up. The cobras feel really good to me now after all that front abdominal work. And downward dog. All right, second and final side. Left leg reaches to the sky. Exhale, step all the way up to that left thumb pad, feet hip width apart. Come onto the right fingertips this time. Thighs hug in, sweep the arm back and reach up. As you push down into the bottom hand, feel how that helps you open the space of the back of the solar plexus, the back of the heart as you reach up. And then from the power of that midline of hugging in, we start to rise up. Take the back hand to the back hamstring. Keep the bend of the front knee, lifting the right hip up as you arc the spine. Mm, a really delicious stretch, stretch and also midline power move. And then we're going to take it across the body, elbow to the outside of the knee. We're going to push down. So my, this action of pushing my thigh into my elbow, elbow into my thigh, and then my palms come together. And I take the left shoulder blade on the back. The hips hug in. And then I can revolve from that power of my legs to open up and twist more deeply. Maybe the fingertips come to touch. Keep taking that left shoulder blade on the back. Back leg strong, holding for three, two, and one. Hands come down, nice work. Tap the back knee down. Start to shift the hips back at the same time. Lift the toes up and slide the heel slightly forward so my hips can stay right over my knee. The right foot is going to kick stand over to the left, and both hands are going to come to the inside of the foot. Walk the arms down. Fold in. So my inner thighs are coming back and apart. My left heel is pushing into the ground, I'm dorsiflexing the foot evenly from big toe to pinky toe side. Nice full extension of the spine. Breathe. Mm. One more breath here. And then option to come into the traditional form, hinging from the hips, inner thighs back, and then folding, lengthening. It's a better word, lengthening forward. Right. If the ground feels really far away, you can also take blocks underneath the hands to give yourself the height you need to not force the opening. And we bend the knee over the ankle. Take it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward into your plank pose. Last time, tap the knees down like a feather. Lower the chest all the way to the ground. Take the hands back beside you, palms facing the ground. And draw the center of the thighs straight down. Outer ankles hug in, spreading all 10 toes so you can feel each of the toenails on the ground. Press the pelvis, lengthen the tailbone, lift the chest up, lift the legs up, Shalabhasana. Right, hands can come off the ground as well, the neck is long. Mm -hmm. So balancing again, the strengthening of the front body with the back body. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. the last one. And lower down. And turn the head to one side, releasing the neck. And turn the head to the other side. And come back to center. 
We're gonna come into round two. All right, so option one, you stay with the hands by the sides. Option two, you might interlace the fingers behind you. We haven't done any shoulder opening today, so this may not be possible. Um, you can also use a strap or a towel between your hands if that works. Okay, thighs roll in. Lengthen through the tailbone, spread through the toes. Press the pelvis, lift the chest, and then lift the legs up and breathe. Neck is long. Keep energizing through the whole of the back of the body. Two more breaths. Last one. And slowly release it down. You can make a pillow with the two hands and let the head rest here. Soften the belly, resting on the earth. Last set here. All right, we're taken into a pulsing action this time. So either palms beside you or hands interlace, you decide, okay? You're gonna lift the chest up and then exhale it down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down one last time. Inhale up, stay for the exhale this time. Neck is long, holding, breath flowing. And release it down. Hands come down, forehead rests. Maybe a subtle, subtle rock through the pelvis. Mm. Simply just turn over onto your back. All right, just flip over like a pancake. You can place your feet on the ground, the knees in the air, feet as wide as your mat with the knees. Move in towards one another. Hands can rest on the belly. And just feel that widening of the low back. Feel the weight of the earth holding you, supporting you. Mm, and all the energy that's buzzing within you. Take your right knee into your chest and interlace your fingers around the back of the hamstring and extend the leg up. Press your hamstring into your leg, I'm sorry, into your hands. Option one here, option two, extend the left leg forward. All right, so keep pushing the hamstring into your hands. It's gonna anchor the thigh bone deeper into the socket. You can stay here or take your hand to your outer calf, left hand to hip, and opening your right leg out to the right. I like to take my hand to my hip here to keep my pelvis anchored so it doesn't lift off the ground. And then inhale, come back up to center. Bend the knee, and we're gonna twist across the body to the left. The right arm can come into a cactus shape, so the elbow bent. You can either look up to the ceiling or maybe turn your head and look to the right, see what feels good for your neck. And I want you to breathe up the back of the body from the extended leg to the tailbone, to the back of the solar plexus and the heart all the way up to the crown of the head. center. You can leave the knee a little kiss. Mm -mm. And you can extend the leg back, arms back. Right knee pulls into the chest, interlace the fingers, push the hamstring into the hands, lay the head back and straighten the leg. You can also bend and stretch the leg a few times if that feels good for you. Keep pressing the hamstring into the hands, create space in the hip. Breathe here. Option for the bottom leg to be straight or bent, you decide. 
You can also use a strap or a towel for this posture as well. Next step, you can bring the hand behind the knee or to the outer calf. Right hand anchors the right hip and slowly start to open the leg in the direction of your left shoulder. Try to keep rolling the inner right thigh down. Keep pressing through both heels. Slowly bring the leg back up to center. Draw the knee into the chest. Twist across your body to the right. The left elbow can come into that cactus shape. You can look straight to the sky or turn your head and look to the left. And just breathing up and down the back of the body from the right extended heel to the tailbone, to the back of the solar plexus, the heart, all the way up to the crown of the head. You can allow the belly to soften. Allow your eyes to soften. Allow any of the tension you're still holding to soften. Give yourself permission to do things a little bit differently today. Use this power of transformation of the fire itself to burn away what no longer serves and to allow what does to emerge from the ashes, from the smoke, with clarity and purpose. Come back to center. You can lift up, get the knee a little kiss, and extend the leg long. All right, last little activation before we close. I want you to bring your legs up and your arms up, and I just want you to shake out. All right, really shake them out there. Shake out the hands, the feet, the legs, the shoulders. Uh, all right, so anything that's in the cells of yours, you're offering to the fire now, and you're activating every fire and every cell, every tissue, every organ to be purified, to come into perfect health. Five more seconds. One, two, three. Keep it shaking. One, and then release it down. Coming into our final resting pose of Shavasana. Arms away from the body, feet open, wider than the hips. And just feel into the subtle vibrations that you feel now. That activation of aliveness when you ignite the fire in the center of your being, in the center of every cell. That buzzing with joy, that buzzing with bliss, that buzzing with purpose and power. You don't even know where it comes from because it's just you. It's allowing that feeling to wrap you up. give you the energy you need for your day. And it's a continual process of offering. And letting it burn and rising again. And that refinement, that alchemy. shine in your fullest. Soften everything a little bit more. Let your body rest.
slowly, wiggling the fingers and toes, stretching the arms overhead. Open your mouth and take a little yawn. <sighs> and gather all of you up with a luscious hug. And rolling to your side, just pausing for a moment as you wake up to this new moment, this new day, and this new body of yours. Mm -hmm. Coming on up. Just beginning, the, ending the way we began, so a simple cross-legged. Rub the hands together. Feel that activation, that fire, that warmth. And this time, you're just going to bring it to any part of your body that might need a little healing, that might need this little extra fire bringing bot. Mm. And the most important mudra I'll teach you today, it's called smile mudra. <laughs> and the corners of the mouth turn slightly up. And you remember the joy of what is inside of you at your essence nature, All right? So we have to activate the fire to burn through the layers of illusion, the layers of accumulation of what we've picked up that isn't even us, so that we can remember who we are and come back into contact with all that resides within us. So I hope you feel better than you did when we began. And I invite you to continue your day on with making little offerings to the fire. Just whatever it is that you don't need anymore, just name it, say it, and just imagine it, just send it into that, your own little fire inside your own being. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. My name is Christy Christensen, and I'll be here with you every Thursday at 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, um, tuning in from wherever you are in the world or wherever I am in the world. But such a joy to share with you, and I hope you feel better than you did an hour ago. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.